I got into a fight with my mom and I, um, I put headphones into her ears and I told her to listen to this song and she freaked out, she called the cops, you know. She said that I tried to wrap the cord around her neck and kill her. Hi, my name's David Hunter Carter. I do vocals in the band called Maker. I was incarcerated because I got into a little situation at my house with my mom. Um, she called the cops on me and the cops came and then I, uh, I had my guitar in my hand. And when they came, I said, before you lock me up, let me just sing you one song. And I lifted my guitar in the air and, and the cops smashed it out of my hands and I got an attempted battery on a police officer. Assault and battery? Assault, yeah, well, it was attempted assault and battery and an attempted murder charge. She said that I tried to wrap the cord around her neck and kill her. So um, that's where the attempted murder charge came into play. So did you actually try to kill your mom? I never tried to kill my mom, I never would. My mom has a restraining order on me right now, so I haven't been able to talk to her. But from what I know, she uh, she's coming out and telling the truth. When I was put in the handcuffs, I uh, I started screaming in agony because the cops double cuffed me and it was cutting off circulation in my arms. It it hurt. I was crying. I um I started singing lyrics actually, and the lyrics go um it goes like this is. Um, my mommy always taught me that policemen are my friends, but they never did anything but cuff me and convince me to believe that I am nothing. I am nothing but dead trees and broken dreams. And I just sang, I just sang that and screamed it over and over again. And they brought me to the Wilbraham Police Department. I was there for a night and then I went to court. And when I was in court, that's when I uh, found out what my charges were. I thought I was just getting a restraining order or whatever. And, and when I saw the attempted murder charge and assault and battery on a police officer, it, I really started to freak out. Can't imagine what it feels like to be accused of something so horrible, especially to the woman who uh, created you and who you, who you truly love with all your heart, you know? Finding out that information and, and seeing how long I could go to jail for, like my whole dreams were just being shattered. They then brought me in the paddy wagon to Ledlow Correctional Institution. I believe that's what it's called, I don't know. Everyone calls it a motel, Ledlow, or whatever, Hil the Hilton. But um, it, it's no joke, jail's no joke. It, it's Not having freedom is the worst thing in the world. While I was in jail, I just wrote um, a lot of poetry. For, for Maker, for my solo project Hunter, for um, this hip hop stuff I do. I, I wrote raps, you know, I sung tunes. I would actually write songs um, in my head and like whistle them. And uh, my celly, he was always like, shut up, you know what I mean? Like this old dude, no teeth. Time well spent, you know, I quit smoking cigarettes for a little while, I don't smoke pot anymore. I'm focused, I'm ready to just do what I'm meant to do. Being a smoker in jail was uh, pretty tough, but what I would do, I would, uh, people would write me letters, right, and it smelled like, uh, like perfume, so I would, um, I would roll up the pieces of paper into pretend little joints, I would dip it in Vaseline, and it would be like a Newport, and I would just <sighs> hold it in, blow it out, imaginary cigarette, I'd pass it to my my roomie, you know what I mean, and it, it helped, but uh, being free from smoke for so long was definitely a good thing, because I never thought I would ever get off it, and it, all you gotta do is not do it, you know? The food in jail, oh my god. Alright, you get fed at 6 o'clock in the morning, 12 o'clock in the afternoon, and 6 o'clock at night, that's it. And it sucks, you get oatmeal in the beginning of the day, two sugar packets, you know, it's just gross, and um, you get commissary once a week, 
which uh, entitles like you can order Snickers bars, ramens, but it's all jacked up the price, so they're always making money off you. I didn't receive commissary for an entire month because I was put in the psych ward and I had no rights. I, 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 uh, I witnessed somebody hang himself in jail. A friend of mine, Scott, I mean, he wasn't really a friend of mine. I just, uh, you know, I met him in jail and it was really traumatic and they were uh, concerned about my well-being. So they stripped me butt, butt naked and threw me into a hole like that was going to help. It was like the first week I was in an orientation pod called B1 and everything was going good. I was locked up with my buddy Austin and um, everything was going good and then while I was writing a poem, I wrote B1 like the third testament to me and that's when he died. I'm going to play a song called Earthquakes. It's a Hunter song, but it was released on the Maker of MySpace, and it's a, it's a song about the end of the world. Um, I actually wrote the song before the earthquakes in Haiti. And the day I released it on the Maker of MySpace, the earthquake happened. And um, in the thesaurus, it's, it's labeled as a 315. <laughs> Starting to want down Coming to an end I can tell you how it happened The first thing I did when I got out of jail was give my best friend hugs um, I mean I have a lot of friends who weren't at the court date but my buddies, uh, Mike and Eric from Maker, were there, and they just gr gave me the biggest hug ever. I sparked a cigarette instantly. Um, a couple of my other friends were there, and um, I um, was just so happy to be out. I gave my dad a hug. I wasn't able to see my mom. I still haven't seen her. It sucks, but um, uh, yeah, I, I was released on 3-15, 2010. When I got out of court, I was uh, put on the ankle bracelet and my dad, he um, drove me to my house. My probation officer was here waiting, set me up on the ankle bracelet and um, I've been diagnosed with a psychotic disorder and bipolar disorder and um, brain damage and a whole bunch of other shit like they think I'm schizophrenic. It just really sucks but I'm on medicine now. It's really starting to help. I, I would always self-medicate myself with marijuana, and now I can't do that. I'm, uh, I'm on house arrest right now in this interview. But I'm feeling good. The, the pills are actually helping me. I've always been anti-drug, anti-pill, but now I have to take them, and it's really starting to help. So you're on house arrest, huh? Yeah, I'm on house arrest right now at the Maker House. That's where we are right now. It's probably the best place in the world to... Uh, Beyond house arrest, I got a nice view of the river. The only thing is there's no shower here, so I have to uh, bathe myself with boiling hot water every day. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's better than jail. So how long are you on house arrest for? I'm on house arrest till April 12th, 2010, and that's when I find out if I go to jail or not, but I don't think I will because the facts of the matter is I never committed the crimes I'm getting accused for. And when I went to jail, it was, um, because I'm on probation for some charges that I got about a year ago, and my probation was almost up, but they threw me in for a 30-day retainer, and then a little bit more than that, so it sucked. Jail sucks. I don't ever want to go there again. Well, what's going on with Maker right now? Um, currently, at this point in time, right now, they're playing a show. Eric singing, Mike singing, they're holding it down. I told them to do it. They've been playing a lot of shows. Uh, we uh, just came out with a new record on Animal Style Records and New York Records. I got the test press right here. This is a uh, 15 out of 30. 
There's going to be 300 of these made. And we have we have a CD on either of our records. Check that out. And uh, you can buy i91 off iTunes. And it would really help us out. It would help us out greatly. You can check that out. Um, I owe a lot of money for lawyer fees and court fees, so that that would help. So please just check that out. And um, we'll be coming to a town near you real soon. Maker just came out with a new line of merch too. We got three new designs. We got two college style t-shirts and one Stand By Me shirt. It's really sick, so be on the lookout for that. And, uh, we're coming out with a new full length too soon. And, uh, the tracks are awesome. It's going to be coming out. It's supposed to come out May, but... How Maker goes about things is always a little slower than others, so it'll probably come out in the summer. So be looking on that for neutral territory records. So I heard you were a rapper. <laughs> you heard I was a rapper, huh? Well, uh, I have a little project called King Kong, DC Sniper, and it's, I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's fucking awesome. I spit hard bars about real shit. I'm a white kid doing doing it. I'm as, I'm as white as my Air Force Ones, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I've been spitting a lot and you guys can check that out too. Hopefully an album will be coming soon. A couple mixtapes dropping soon. Well, I've been doing a lot of uh, solo project too, aside from Maker. It's called Hunter. The drummer of Hands In, Roger, he plays drums in it. Um, it's, it's a collaboration with all artists that I feel are quality, you know what I mean? I write the songs, and it's just, it's really depressing stuff, but um, you guys can check that out. The album is called The End of Everything, and it's about the end of the world, and it's coming out soon. I just want to shout out Either Or Records, my buddy Rob, Animal Style Records, uh, Neutral Territory Records, and Cam from Reckless Intent Productions for doing this video. You guys should check all their stuff out. They're doing it. They're killing it. And expect big things from Maker, Hunter, and Carter. Because uh, that's, that's who I am. And that's who I'm always going to be.